All right, I got this Ream hybrid heat pump water heater. It's installed November of 2020. Here we are, September of 2023. I noticed on the app that the last month, my electricity usage was, was almost double what it typically is. So I went down here and I was like, huh, I wonder if it kicked out of energy saver mode. And it was not. Um, so I put it, I cycled back through the modes anyways, just to make sure it was on energy cycle mode, energy saver mode. And then I went upstairs, started going about my life. And within 15 minutes of that, I got a text message and an alert, alert from the app. Like, I think it was 8004, some diagnostic code. So if I go, let's see. Current alarms, down, or alarm history, let's see, down. So this is one, this is the first alarm, just water heater difficulty, satisfying demand. T132, and this is the one that I got on my phone, A004, discharge suction trip. And then if I just keep cycling through, I. I got them multiple times. All right, let's go back to the home screen here. So I gave Ream a call because it's still under a 10 year warranty. And what the guy on the phone had me do is he had me press next and mode, not hold them, then just go uh, next or down, down to compressor. Compressor should kick on. We hit enter, enter. This is DT, ST, ET, and ET. And he had me read all of these different temperatures for ST, ET, AT. Based on these readings, he, he suspected that it was one of the, uh, it was a suction thermistor that needs to be replaced. And he said it's pretty common that these go bad. Not, not everyone's, but sometimes it, it does happen. And he was able to send me instructions and he sent me the parts for free. So I'm gonna try to replace that now. It's down in here. I'm gonna have to take this lid off. First thing I'm gonna do though is shut the power off to this tank. Right, we're power back on. We're gonna go mode and next again, just quickly press them. Go down to the compressor, enter. Enter again, DT, ST, all right. So that should be our suction temperature. And before, I think that was like 160 or 170. So that now is more in normal range. You can see that temperature dropping as, as the compressor runs here. I'm just going to cycle through. ET. DT. Section slowly dropping. So I'll monitor this for the next day or so and make confirm that it's the compressor is running. And then it's not, before my hot water was still working, it was just, it was only working on 
by using the the two elements. So I was using a lot more electricity. Now we can see that suction temperature going back up, up now that the compressor has kicked off. I think when you're in this mode, the compressor only stays on for like maybe 30 seconds or 15 seconds, I'm not sure.